In this video, I'll run through how to use the join command under the parts submenu on the cam tab to group parts together and to keep them together. There's a couple different applications for this. The first situation here, we've got these parts here and we want to keep them in this orientation when we nest them. So if I go ahead and create the parts right now, right now these are all individual parts. Double click on it, that's the part name for that one. That's the part name for that one. And if I go ahead and nest these onto this sheet here, of course, iGEMS is going to do its best to optimize my material utilization and not necessarily keep the parts together. So if I do want to keep these together, then I will go to my, again, cam tab, parts submenu, click on join. Down at the bottom, it'll prompt you to select part. So whatever part you click on first is the name that I'll use for the group of the parts. So I'll just select this as being my base part, and then it'll prompt you to select parts. So I'll drag a box around everything else. So now when I click on any of these, it selects all of these. If I double click on it, it shows us that that is now the name of this group here and carries over the quantity. So now if I go ahead and nest these, select that select the sheet. So now I'll go ahead and nest them and keep them all together. So my material utilization might not be as good, but it has kept them in the orientation that I want. So that's one application for the join command. The other application might be if you want to uh, basically force a toolpath and uh, maybe do a common line cut or some unique toolpath on a part and then when you nest that part you want to keep that toolpath with the part uh, you can also use that join command so something like this I'm going to go ahead and mirror this part here so first I'll go ahead and create the part and because I'm going to be using my manual command add the toolpath I'm not going to create the toolpath right now so we'll just create the part and then I'll do my mirror command so you can do shift M on your keyboard or also found on the transform submenu. So we'll go ahead and mirror this part up this way. And right now I'm doing water only. I think I got a 10 thou orifice. So I'm going to move this part over 10 thousandths of an inch here. And then I'm going to use my manual command. So on a cam tab, tool pass, submenu, manual. And down at the bottom, I'm going to hit enter because I'm making a new tool path here click where I want to start and got my lead in information tool on the left okay so lead into that point and I'm going to use my line command and we'll come up to here and then I can do follow to over to this point here and then I can do line command to bridge the gap there and we can do follow to again come down to here going in this direction so I left click and then I'm gonna do a little line here to make sure I bridge this gap here and then we'll come up to this point here and we'll do follow to and follow to down to here and then we'll do a line so I'll just go over to here and we'll do follow to again follow to up here and then I'll do another little line here and make sure I cut all the way across there. So now I've got that nice tool path on here. Essentially do this all in one pierce. Now right now this tool path is not connected to the parts. If I zoom in click on the tool path, see when I click on that, it just selects the tool path and not the part. Conversely, click on the part, selects the part and not the tool path. So if I go ahead and nest this now, select my part, select sheet, and so you see down here in the preview it just shows half of that part, the single part, and nest that it does that, which is not what I want. So we have to join these parts together. So again, back to my cam tab, part, click on join, select part, just want to zoom in, make sure I get the part, so click on that and then click on this to join together. So now when I click on one of these, it selects both of those, which is 
half of the solution here. Again, if we go to nest this, select parts onto this sheet here. So now in the preview, it shows the parts together. And that's all well and good. But right now, since the toolpath isn't connected to the part, it doesn't bring that over when I do the nesting. So in the nesting, there's a option to attach a toolpath to a part. So down here, you've got this little paper clip, attach. Click on that, It'll prompt you select objects. So basically, you just drag a box around this, and then prompt select objects again. Just drag a box around again. That'll select the toolpath. So now when you go ahead and nest this, It nests both the parts and the toolpath. So that's a couple ways that the join command can be used. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Thanks.